Hi friends, welcome to the wild and weird world of Silversmith channel. Look at this ridiculous mushroom! Do not worry, I did not try to eat this thing. That is not how I got so weird. Hey, in this video I'm going to show you some cute little bunnies, my new pottery kick wheel, and something else. I forget. I guess the chickens didn't like it because they didn't eat it. Good call. Don't know what the heck it is. Not even gonna touch it. I'm gonna go toss this outside. I just wanted to show you how cool it was. Found this in the chicken coop. I guess it found a nice place. It's huge. Ew. Not a big fan of mushrooms, but I think they're cool. Hi. Yesterday I spent all day tidying up the garage. And look, it's fixed. You gotta check this out. So here we have blueberry and I don't know, he needs a name. Do you guys wanna help us get a name for Bunny? There we go. He's so sweet. The girl doesn't like me yet. But he lets me pet him. Wanna come out? Come here, boy. Come here, boy. and nuzzles my hand and he asks for me to pet him. I brought you treats. Can I pet you? Can I pet you? See how she thumped? She's just saying, I'm nervous. Come on. Earlier she came over and snipped my hand when I put it through here. Do you want to smell me? Do you want to smell my hand? Come on the side. Here you go. Smell it. No? Are you nervous? She's a scaredy cat. So this is my sweet off-grid pottery wheel. I scored this puppy from the marketplace and I paid the lady 40 bucks because it needed some repairs and it still needs a little bit more. We have to put some supports here because there's a brace bar under here that's connected to nothing. But so far I made this wonky pot and um, I'll just probably dry that out and then disc it and then let some, let some kid paint on it or something. And then this one, I just threw this one, but I don't have any of my trimming tools and it's not dry enough to trim anyway, but I still need to level the wheel. See, it works on centrifugal force. You kick the bottom wheel here and then it just spins for a while. Isn't that cool? And it doesn't need any electricity. And it's like, I barely got, hard, well, that's a hole right there, but I hardly got anything on my clothes like throwing on this wheel, probably because it was small stuff. <laughs> Bigger stuff is gonna shoot more water this way. I might have to either build or make a tray to go around the base in order to catch like splashes. But I would say the lady said you need really strong legs to do this, but 
I must have really strong legs because I find that super simple. And I love it! And then I have company. I have a video on homemade yogurt and you can watch that but I just gave a bunch to the chickens we were getting a few nice we were getting a few weak eggs uh, the shells were real brittle and Scarlett sat on them and crushed them and got all sticky so I made them yogurt in order to um, help with some extra calcium for the eggs some people give oyster chips so this is what I'm doing the good news we just paid off our credit card debt no credit card debt yay okay so we're we're doing really well with that and I'm really excited but um, then I got some bad news I uh, went to the dentist and apparently she thinks if I should try to save this tooth it'll cost fourteen hundred dollars for a crown it's in the back of my mouth second to last tooth I think I just want to get it pulled instead because first of all I don't even need that tooth I mean fourteen hundred dollars there's so many things I'd rather spend fourteen hundred I'd rather go on a trip to tell you the truth so I gave the chickens about half of this but I wanted some for myself too so see that I like to drain the extra whey out of the yogurt to make it nice and thick I, I like Greek yogurt so I'm gonna drain this all day I'm gonna put it in the fridge to drain so it stays uh, fresh and uh, I leave the bottom stuff in the pot because it kind of scalded down there and that part doesn't taste good. So I'm just getting rid of that part. Over here, I'm making the noodle recipe. This is the best book ever. So I have a lot of notes in it and things. I'd be lost without my joy of cooking. So I've got some fresh farm eggs to put in. Can I, I wonder if I could do this lefty. With one hand. Boom, she does it. Okay, that was risky. Also, there's a video on my Chinese pulled noodles, um, which was a little bit of a disaster, but it's basically the same idea. Um, but this may lo not look like much because it's only one and a third cups of flour. But I mean, this makes a ton of noodles. You'd be you'd be really shocked. And noodles have plenty of calories, so don't worry about that. And it rests. It rests before you roll out the noodles. They are so delicious. They're just so fresh and tasty and thick. I mean, they make just a great dinner noodle to have on the side of your plate. Chickies need this to help break up their the food in their, uh, what's that thing called? What's that part of a chicken where they break up the food? That big puffy part on the neck? What? See this? They ring the bells to go outside. Show me, ring the bells, ring the bells. Do you wanna go out? Do you wanna go out? Do you wanna go outside? Did I hear you ring the bell? Huh? Huh? Did you ring the bell? No, take a get. Make that stuff. You can follow me wherever I go. I'm a girl with the snacks. guys are so cute. Who's a cute? <laughs> Thank you, Glenn. They are so happy to have something to play with.
did some volunteer work today. I'm a community coordinator for my town and we're doing a day of spring cleaning where we pick up the trash off the sides of the road. Some idiots have been throwing trash. Volunteered to coordinate the event, meaning I kind of found people to volunteer and I took brochures to all the businesses and I have to tell you the people in my town are the nicest people on the planet. Not one person said no to me and the donut lady gave me four free donuts. She said, sorry, I can't help out, but I can give you some free donuts. I said, oh my God, I'll take them. She said, you're so skinny. And I said, oh, I think I love that woman. On the new pottery wheel, I have to determine if I'm centered here. No, not even, not even close. So I am having a really good day. I don't have my favorite trimming tools here, so I just have to use this, which is probably not even a trimming tool. But I am so excited that this kit here works and that I got it for next to nothing. I mean, all in all, with new bags that I bought and the wheel and some free bricks from my nephew, I've got 60 bucks in this thing. And I'll tell you, that's 10%. If you get an electric wheel, they're like 600, just the lowest end decent electric wheel. I'm not talking about one of those kids' wheels. Who can it be knocking at my door? Make no sound. Tiptoe across the floor. Where could it be? Based on that, I'm completely not centered. So, move it a little bit that way. Here we go. All my tools are down at the other studio. And that, we had a lift off there, that wasn't good. Nice. Okay, so what I need to do is, I need to make mugs for the coffee shop, and I need to make some little crocs, some little low bowls for the rabbits. I'll need probably at least four of those to start with because anything that I can make myself saves me money. Sometimes they enjoy drinking water out of the croc because crocs stay cooler. And cool water is good for bunnies. I've frozen some bottles of water in the fridge so that when the weather gets a little warmer, the bunnies like to lie next to the bottle of ice water and that keeps their temperatures down and keeps them safe in the Texas heat because they can't go underground. They're not regular, they're not regular bunnies. These are fancy bunnies. They can't go on the ground and I... The girl who I bought them from gave me a lot of information. She gave me some exact, told me exactly what to feed them, exactly how much, what to give them to treat them for mites, and what to treat them monthly to make sure they don't get worms when they play out in the grass. We do have a section of yard now where we could run the bunnies a little bit, I think, uh, without, you know, where they won't come in contact with the chickens, which is cool. I mean, although bunnies and chickens probably get along great, I just don't want them to expose to each other's uh, turrets. <laughs> oh my god, this works pretty good for a tool that's not made for this. And I love this kick wheel. I am so thrilled that I bought this. This was like the greatest purchase ever. I have to sell like two things. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, probably a little more than that. I need to sell a few things to pay for it, but you know. The, between the kids who will want to play with this and um, the adults, some classes that I'm teaching, it's gonna, it'll pay for itself. I, I just know it, so. Oh my God, I just love doing this. And it doesn't go, I mean, you can pace it. You just, it doesn't have to go so fast. And I don't have to feel like anybody's watching me while I screw up, even though there you are. I, I'm just having such a great day today. Yesterday was a really hard day with the whole bad news at the dentist thing. But, you know, I knew that was coming. 
I walked in there and I said, you're just going to want to pull this tooth, but she doesn't want to pull teeth. You know why? She doesn't make any money off pulling teeth. So this, also, one thing I can do with this wheel that I couldn't do in the past was make, make pottery that I could leave bisqued, just pre-fired, you know, doing the first firing, which goes to 1,848 degrees. And then if kids come over and they're, maybe they're too young or they just have one class and they just want to paint a piece of pottery that's already made, they can select from like my bisque pieces and just choose something to paint glaze on and we'll fire it up for them. So if we want to do like a one-time class, it saves a fortune in shipping because otherwise I would be buying bisque pieces which cost, you know, three to five dollars a piece. And I mean, this costs me pennies literally pennies to make. I get 25 pounds, I'm sorry, I get 50 pounds for $28. I'm trying to just shape it a little bit. I got a little warped from my pressing on it. And I hope, you know, sometimes these things go back to their warped shape, but sometimes they stay. But that's pretty cute. Um, the, edge is, the edge is not even. So just for fun, just for kicks, I mean, this isn't for anything special, but I'm gonna clean that up. So I'm trying to um, anchor my arms so I don't go, so I just catch the high spots. I didn't want the, this little crock to be quite so tall, but a little baby bunny's gotta be able to get the face in there. So I can just pick it up and do this. Anybody need a bracelet? Kind of small. <laughs> so my next crop will be bigger because this only holds enough for, this doesn't hold enough. So make my next crop bigger. And I mean low so that the bunnies don't tip it. Clean up the edge first. This one could just be like a drink cup, perhaps. There you go. Good enough for now. Let's see. Hmm. Let's so put it over here. See, it's a blue, it's a blue bunny. These are available on my website. $5, the pendant, just this part. It's $5 each. And you just drop it on a chain or rope or whatever you want. You can wear it on your necklace, you carry it in your wallet. You can use it as a worry stone. They feel really good. They're like super smooth. But anyway, support the bunnies. That's how you can help Silversmith Channel if you want to, okay? After playing with their half toilet paper rolls, the bunnies are now tired. And they're just laying around again. I like this kind of bat because the play, clay is less likely to slip on it. Which is like you start throwing and then the whole mound just slides off and it's really awful. Ooh, the water's cold. Get a rolling. We be rolling. They hating. This is great because this is all the exercise I get lately. Well, except vacuuming and cleaning out the chicken coop and, you know, chasing everybody around and doing laundry and carrying all the groceries. Okay, well, never mind. I get plenty of exercise. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna spread out the base so that it's bigger. ever gets tired, my right leg can do the work. Actually, I keep kicking it with my left leg. I'll have to kick it with my right leg. I know what it's like when you heal backwards. That's a little weird. I'm so used to doing it clock, wait, counterclockwise. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter. dominant type. There we go, I'm opening it out. Now I gotta get that wall pulled up. Just use a sponge for this. Just pull that roll on the wall side up towards the top. Now it looks like a bunny crock. I'm gonna make it about the right size so that it can fit exactly a day's worth of food in it. The water, well, I guess it's a water dish. I guess I'll use it as a water dish, so. You know what I did there, I got a little. It can't bow out on the sides, which it's currently doing, so I need to stand that back up again. Centrifugal force is the miracle that makes this thing work. to compress the clay at the center at the bottom. Right here, just push down with the sponge really hard because that's where you'll get a mess crack in the bottom of the clay when it's drying. Don't push down hard enough. Play sponges here, but you know what? Do what I can. Do what I can with what I got. It's my life story. Make do, do without. Make do or do without. <laughs> Remember the girl that taught me that one? She taught me how to use Sharpie to repair scuff marks in my shoes because she, she grew up poor. She had clever ways of making, keeping herself looking nice even if she didn't have any money. So, make do or do without. <laughs> 